Aloha, I'm Danny. I'm Eric. And we are here from Aloha Life Now. Okay, we're coming to you from Century Center Tower. And today we're gonna meet with a life guide. Okay, she is amazing. Her name is Mia and her business is reading your paths, your future paths and your past. Amazing person. So I had my reading already and Danny's gonna get one today. And they also, they do the combination of power stones plus the reading and to me, I needed some guidance. I'm going through some things right now. And she read me to a T. She read my past, she read my situation, and she gave me guidance on the path that I have to go on from now on. So I'm I'm, re I'm so happy. I recommend it to everybody. It was like, Danny, we gotta do this. We gotta yeah. do this. I was like, you gotta do it. It's gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind. Yeah. Let's do it. Please watch your step. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Guys, so we're here with Mia. She was the one I was telling you about earlier and she is the, the guide for your life. You know, spiritual coach, whatever you want to call her. She sees the future, she sees your past. You know, she really connects with you and really understands you and has helped me so much. So please tell me about your business. I do counseling first. Um, yeah, I make bracelets. And um, with counseling, it's, it's like, a, like a spiritual counseling. Like I go in like people's shoes, I feel like I'm in that person and then I'll feel their personality briefly about the past and the future. When did you realize you had this gift? Pretty much since I was a kid, I had this, but I thought it was normal. Um, my mom also can sense pretty much from the beginning I had this. Wow. So what, what do you hope to do? Well, I hope to help out because since I um, feel their emotions and I can go in people's you know shoes and feel what they're feeling, I really want to help them out and to have a better life for them. Like, I want them to be more happier in life. You know, people have like dreams, what they want to achieve in. Um, so that's the part that, um, you know, I do counseling on. So it doesn't have to be like problems. I like that you say you get into people's shoes and you, you, you become the person. Mm -hmm. What is that process for you? I think the main part that I feel is their emotions. So I won't feel like, I won't see the exact vision of what's happening, but I will feel their emotions of the past, what have they felt like before. And then in the future, I kind of feel like the pictures, like I see like some pictures, like bits and pieces. It's not like a whole story. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I feel this, and then what does that mean? And they're like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. so it's good to have that conversation, you know, because yeah. then you figure each other out. Mm -hmm. And then my question is, so why do you do the Power Stones too? Because you, you're so good at reading people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then you also provide this service as well. These Power Stones are beautiful, but they're not just aesthetic, right? There's more meaning behind them. Power stone, what I feel is like, a, it's like people too, like every people have different personality. The stones have different energy personality. And then when you want to change your life or when you want to go in a different direction, you need that momentum, you know, you need that energy and strength to change. And it's sometimes hard to do it on your own. So that comes with the stones. So like the stones will help with that. So what the energy of the stone and your energy, when it combines, it will give you the energy and strength and whatever that you need to go to the better path. Oh, okay. Mm. So that's good. It's going to keep me on my path. Yes. Because I'm always <laughs> distracted. <so. laughs> like with the stones that I make, I could remember exactly how they were in the past when I made that stone. It's like a medical record. <laughs> oh, it's a medical oh. record. I like that. <laughs> Spiritual <laughs> record. <laughs> Spiritual record. I like that. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm. And you can also do these sessions online. Yes. I don't have to be right here. No, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can feel um, their energy and everything from the pictures too. Do you feel like your reading is just as accurate online as in person? Mm. Or a person a little better than online? Well, it's about the same, but yeah. personal, like, Having a person in front of you is better because sometimes it helps me to connect all of those messages when I talk to them. And then yeah, try to like bring all the hints together. It's like a little bit more easier when I talk. That's great. Yeah. And you love what you do. 
Yes, I do. Because <laughs> you're helping a lot of people. Right? Mm -hmm. It makes me happy when, you know, like a few months later, people say like, oh, my life changed after I came here. Like, it, it like means everything to me. Like, <laughs> I'm, it makes me so much happier. <laughs> That's great. Is there something you want to tell potential clients? Like people who are interested in your service. Is there something you want to tell like the customer when they come in? Because I know you've had some problems, right? With some people who are mm. kind of close-minded and they come in already hating this. Okay, I want people to have an open mind um, because some people, they came in, they're close-minded and I had a hard time reading them. So it's best to have an um, open mind. Yeah, because yeah. if you come in negative and closed, like she can't get in. You know, you're not letting her in. So. Yes. Yeah, that's a waste of time for everybody. Mm -hmm. So come and enjoy it because it's an amazing experience. Yeah. How many people have you helped so far? Oh my goodness, I can't even, I can't, I can't count anymore. <laughs> people who know me, they know I'm kind of cheap, right? <laughs> so, but this is worth every penny. I mean, it's not even that expensive, but it's worth every penny. And I recommend it to everybody now, you know, I, I love it. So I'm going to have my first reading. The main question that I have is about my business choices. Can I ask what kind of jobs do you do? I do sign language interpreting. I make videos for YouTube. I teach Japanese sign language online. And I do real estate. Mm -hmm. And also marketing. Mm. Choosing one for you, it's not going to like one is not going to bloom into a big thing, I feel. I feel like doing the sign language would be like a good main thing that will always have a demand but at the same time it won't grow enough to like just to concentrate only on the sign languages like the Japanese and the videos. Like what I feel is you Currently, you like choose your, you know, your not life pattern, but you choose your schedule kind of. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that pattern will be set pretty much. So you will like choose your life pattern and choose when you want to work and when you don't. I'm, I'm going more towards the marketing side. What I feel from you, um, like the marketing and the sign language probably like the Japanese online and then the YouTube sign language YouTube videos, yeah. 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 I think that will be the main to focus on because I feel like those will like take a lot of energy and time to, to do so I feel like those three will be good to focus on what I'm hearing is that it's good to focus on those because if I just focus on one I'm not really going to explode right mm -hmm. I'm not going to be big right mm -hmm. And if I do these multiple um, projects or uh, focuses mm -hmm. on these three different streams of work, mm -hmm. then I, I can be more successful. Pretty much. And then that's what I feel. And then I feel like everything ties into one. I feel like whatever you learn from like the marketing thing can be applied to the other thing. And then from the other thing, you can like apply to your other job. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's different, but it's kind of connected with everything. Yeah, you know, that's that's what I always worry about. Like some people will say, hey, you do a lot. Maybe you just focus on one thing. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of people who are successful, they do only focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. And I want to be successful, but I don't know. Yeah, it, it could grow. It grows with you. Like all of those three like grows with you and then it's different thing that you're doing but it's kind of like in one bundle okay. I, I don't I want to say like you're good at promote not promoting but like marketing a different person like you have like a good talent of doing that and then you can also do that on yourself too but I feel like you seeing you know you stepping back and then analyzing what needs to be improved and stuff I feel like you do much better in that department mm. Mm. You, you don't really realize that you're tired until you're like really something's bad happening. <laughs> like you can you can go forward and you can do all kinds of stuff until like really like you're really sick or something. So I feel like you should realize like what like your body is telling you before it really 
you get really sick <laughs> pretty much like but right now you're you're good you don't you're not like overdoing yourself or anything but that's that's what I feel like your tendency of giving your 110% and then burning out <laughs> <laughs> I want to explain the stones that I put in your bracelet. Okay. So the first one that I wanted to put in is this gray stone. It has like a blue light um, when you put it on a like you know sunlight. This is called the blood right. It helps with um, like really analyzing deep inside of yourself. Like I thought it would be good for you to concentrate on your businesses. And it will also help with not pushing yourself too far. Mm. So I thought that would be good. And then next is green phantom. This is a green one right here. This one is it's like a business stone, but like most of the business stones like tiger eye and like pushing you to like the direction, giving you more energy and stuff. But I don't want that to happen with you because you're already good at pushing yourself forward. <laughs> okay. So I want something different. So that's why I put this one. So this will like help you with getting new ideas mm -hmm. um, and like creating. So I thought that's better for you. Um, so that's for business. And then this one is uh, it's called White Phantom. It's more like bringing people, bringing new people in your life. Mm. Um, that relates to work but also I thought it's a good communication stone with like your marriage life too that you're talking about mm -hmm. so you can like step back like I said yeah and then just encourage yourself feel good about yourself so I thought that will help with that too that's great yeah that's why I put all of those three stones and then I put crystals in between because all of this has like a different energy and I wanted to harmonize and make it into one big energy, so I just put it in between. I just had my consultation with Mira, and uh, she gave me a lot of good direction. Um, stuff that I was trying to work out by myself, and I kind of thought I had an idea of what to do, but you know, she really helped clarify it for me. What choices I, sh I should be making, and, and, and just kind of clear up the muddy waters. So um, I felt like it was very beneficial, and I'm, I'm happy to you know ask for her services again. So. If you guys want to, are curious or interested, please come by and check it out because she's really easy to talk to and she'll give it to you straight. If you've got something bad coming up, she'll tell you and she won't <laughs> hold back her punches. So the website is um, www.honoleahawaii.com and we will have all the explanation of the counseling um, and the pricing. Um, and like the sample stones that we made before you can also read some reviews that's on the website